guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks and my continuing series of interviews I did at the Bar Z Summer Bash 2016. Next up is A-Bomb 79 or as we also know him as Adam Booth. Guys, I feel really fortunate right now. I've got Adam Booth next to me and we're going to just talk about a little a few things. How did you get your channel started? Well, I had actually started posting pictures on Practical Machinist a while back. I think one 2011 or so, I started posting pictures on there of my jobs that I was doing in my shop, and it became pretty popular. I had a lot of guys talking to me and asking questions about it, and really following along. And I want to say around 2012, 2013, I thought about getting a camera and taking a few videos of some of the machining that I'm doing. But basically, just showed some metal cutting. You know, I didn't, I didn't think about doing videos like I'm doing now. And so I started taking a couple of videos and then I posted them to YouTube and I started sharing those links over on Practical Machinist with the guys there. And then I found out that there's this whole world of YouTube out there beyond a forum that was wanting to watch me and see these videos <laughs> and see these jobs. And it started growing from there. And I quickly went from just doing a quick little shot of uh, some metal cutting to a full, full fledged edited video, introducing myself to everybody and then showing actual jobs, you know, and projects in the shop. Well, and I think that's one of the reasons we like watching your channel is you're a real machinist. This is your life. Yeah, And for us to get to see an expert at his, at his job is a joy. And we get to learn so much from watching a real guy do the job. It makes it easier for us to understand it. Just, we get a sense of how a machine's supposed to sound, how it feels even. So I find that fantastic. So let me ask you this, what advice do you have for somebody starting out a channel? I tell everybody this is to be yourself, to, to be yourself, be true to yourself, be natural on camera and try not to act. I, 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 ever since I started, I was just, I tried to be myself on camera and try to be comfortable with it. and and. And show them what I'm doing, you know, step for step what I'm doing and try to make it un easy to understand. Yeah, and that's so true because when I talk to you, it is though I'm talking, it's almost like I'm watching a TV screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should just put a box here because yeah. there is no difference. Yeah. You know, for me, I think there's just a little bit of a difference between, well, it matters what time of day you're talking to me, of course. Right, but, right. But that is what is great about your channel is it is you. Yeah. And I watch your videos and I watch how many people watch you in a day. I mean, you post a video and you get more views in one day, or actually within the first hour than I think I do in the first 24. So it not, pretty amazing. not that I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I do try to, uh, I, I never put on an act. I, I'm always myself. The way you see me on my videos and on screen is exactly how I am in person whenever you come up and you say hello to me and, you, and we have a conversation. Yeah. I'm gonna talk the same way. And a lot of people uh, mention that in the videos, in the comments, is that they, they, can, they can feel that watching my videos, yeah. is that like they're a friend just standing next to me and we're having a conversation. Well, and we've had this conversation before, and I think one of the successes of your channel is it's, it just grew organically. It did. It's not designed, it's not manufactured, mm -hmm. it's you, it's organic, and I think that's the strength of it. Yeah, yeah, it, and, and it has, I agree with that. As I said, I, I really didn't have any big intentions when I started doing the YouTube. Just thought it'd be cool to uh, host a couple of videos there and share them. And it really just grew from there. And the interaction with all the viewers and the audience really has helped uh, drive the direction that the channel has gone. And I know that people enjoy seeing the machine work, the jobs, the, the real world stuff. So yeah. I like to share that with them. Yeah. And we're yeah. grateful. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Now we all know that you use a GoPro. Right. But what editing software do you go with? I use PowerDirector, and currently I use PowerDirector 14. Okay. When I started doing the videos, I downloaded PowerDirector 12, and I had never, ever used the video editing software before that. I completely self-taught myself how to, how to make a video. <laughs> and you can kind of see that in some of my earlier videos. There, there, there were some mess-ups in there, and I think I've gotten a little bit better. But, there's a whole lot to know about editing videos, and I just know a little percentage of it, man. <laughs> no, it's, it's a complicated world. And one of the things I like about your videos, and I remember when I was at your shop a couple months back, we did a little video thing together. Yeah. 
And you don't take multiple takes. No. You just I, do it. Yeah, I try to do a, I try to do one take and go. I hate coming back. There are times I had to do two takes because I didn't realize that the uh, camera wasn't actually on. <laughs> <laughs> Never happens to me ever. You know, and I'm not paying attention to the little red light blinking. I'm just thinking that it's recording. And I go back and I hit it again and it takes another picture instead of a video. <laughs> so I have to go back and do that whole thing again. But yeah, I try to get it in one take. Yeah, no, and you do an excellent job. Adam, Dale, thank you so much. All right, I appreciate it, man. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. I know I enjoyed producing it and also getting a chance to talk to these guys. It's been a great experience. If you did like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also, give me some of your positive, supportive comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.